This thing is sitting there, and it hasn't cooled off yet. Listen, Chalupa. It's your Tavika. I need you to come over here and wash the desk, okay? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's left you in charge, huh? Hmm. Are you saying that because I'm a woman, I should not be in charge? No, no. It's because you're a scheming, opportunistic Balkan peasant. You should not be in charge. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to break it up, break it up. Thank you, Shanene. I'll take the dress. Good morning, Mavis. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. I want you to say hi to Buddy. What the hell is that? <laughs> Did that come up from the basement? No. We saw him at the animal shelter, and Rita just fell in love with the little guy. We had to bring him home. Courtney, do I need to remind you that a weasel is not a pet for black people? We wear those to church. <laughs> In my country, that isn't a pet, it's a picnic. That's disgusting. By itself, yes. But picture it with a biscuit and curly fries. <laughs> Ain't no one eating my buddy. And he's not my pet, he's my animal companion. You know what he actually is? He is a health hazard. This is a hotel, girl. Look, Courtney, get that nasty thing out of here and take the ferret with her. Mavis, yes? that's uncalled for. Could you say something nice to Rita for a change? This is the woman I love. She's the reason I get up in the morning. Who are you kidding? That's biology, child. You'd get up in the morning whether she was there or not. Mavis, please. Oh, look, OK. Rita. Nice ferret. Now get out. Oh, come on. He's cute. I want you to see him. No, I'm... Yes, come here, buddy. Mommy's got to go to work with the sick people, but I'm going to leave you here with your daddy and your auntie May Ray. Oh, no. Yes. No, back up. no, no, he's a little light-skinned for a ferret, you know, but I ain't tripping over that. Yeah. yeah. You want to see him? No, I don't want to see him. Come here, Come on, Mavis, we like you. Don't be working that Oh, son of a bitch! What son happened? Of a bitch. What happened? I'm so sorry. That Bad mother buddy. ferret just bit me. <laughs> Just bit me. I'm so sorry. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. You know how bad he is? I'm gonna get a bat and pop the weasel. <laughs> Mavis, won't you just have your doctor look at this? Because I only got one doctor. It's my gynecologist. I'm getting ready to cut her loose because there ain't that many eggs left in the carton, child. <laughs> Mercuricum, smelling salts, iodine. My God, this has to be the oldest surviving first aid kit. <laughs> or we finally found Saddam's chemical weapons cache. <laughs> Maybe you should just go to the hospital. At the hospital? Are you crazy? No, no. Do you know what they do to people in the hospital? Care for the sick and injured? No, child, they mess you up. You go to the doctor, you say, oh, I got a sore throat. He said, no, that ain't no sore throat. You got strep cock cock <laughs> You got strep, cock, cock, cock. Blood pressure goes up, you have a heart attack. They open you up, they look around, they find out all you had was a sore throat, but hell, they already in there, so let them mess around. They sew you back up, send your ass home with a bill for $14 million, which your insurance company is not gonna cover because they don't take care of that kind of stuff. You end up on West Houston Street with a dirty rag and a spray bottle talking about, can I get some help? Hell no, I'm not going to the hospital. That's right, but you know, I, I read about a man in Texas who went in for a bladder operation. He came out missing a penis. His own penis? <laughs> no, the one he keeps on a keychain. I'd feel much better if you just went to the hospital. Well, I would feel better if you get off my back about this. Look, do me a favor. Just get me some alcohol and some ice, okay? Alcohol? Mavis, it's 10 a.m. Rubbing alcohol with club soda and a twist. <laughs> All right, let's just put it on. It's gonna tingle a bit. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, tingly, tingly, tingly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, this that old people cue. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's good when it's tingling. Ooh, but now it's burning. <laughs> that's kind of burning, smoking thing. That's, that's good, too. That's good, no, too. Let it work. It's working, it's working. Burning, it's burning, working. burning, burning, burning. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. Okay, burning black woman coming through. Make way. Come on. Oh, come on. You make a scene now. I would never do that. Come on. Clear the path. Look, come leave on. that man alone. All I want to do is get a shot and go home, okay? I'm just here to help you. Hey, hey. Come on. Listen, miss. I need to see a doctor. I need your insurance card. Sign in, please. Uh, I, I have a little problem. I'm sorry I'm not allowed to care until after you sign in. Well, I, I can't write. Dee Dee, we got another illiterate. I need a consent form with pictures. No, you don't understand. I got bit by a ferret. My hands all swole up. It's killing me. That's why I can't write. Oh, yeah. Let, let me fill it out. Oh, I'm here for it. Come okay, on. okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, how old are you? Okay, moving on. How much do you weigh? 112 pounds. <laughs> Come on, let's go fill that out over here. She don't, she don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> May Ray, there you are, girl. Oh, Courtney called. He told me you were coming in. I am so sorry. You all right? Am I all right? Do I look all right? She is the antithesis of all right. <laughs> all right, come on, girl. I'm gonna hook you up with a blood No, no, sample. you know what? I've had enough of you and the ferret and all that goes along with you. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on. You know Buddy didn't mean it. He's my little baby. Well, if that's your baby, you need to get your tubes tied. <laughs> I don't know why you're bugging out. I'm just trying to make everything copacetic. No, you know what would have made it copacetic? If my brother had never met you. Then you wouldn't have been at the hotel. The ferret wouldn't have been at the hotel. The ferret wouldn't have bit me. I wouldn't be at the hospital. This is all your fault. That would have been copacetic if you had not been there. Fine. Suit yourself. I got better things to do. Well, go and do them then. <laughs> Mavis Ray. Oh, bless me. Sorry, y'all. She recognized me. Uh, here's your card. You need pre-authorization. We'll have to call. Well, what does that mean? It means that before you get treatment, you have to notify your insurance company to see if they'll give you authorization. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this gotta be some kind of mistake. Look, I got double indemnity. Girl, it's a gold card. <laughs> we could do this the easy way, or we could do this the hard way. Oh, who are you now? Tina Turner? <laughs> let's, let's start again, okay? Sister to sister. Mm -hmm. You know, we always trying to get over. Help a sister out, girl. Mm -hmm. Forget about this pre-authorization. Help a sister out. Dee Dee, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I will slap you like Ike. Nina, I'm a little concerned about Buddy. He hasn't been the same since he bit Mavis. It sounds like he's snoring. <laughs> he's making the death rattle. Don't say that. Rita entrusted her only pet to me. She would be crushed if anything happened to him. Should I start digging the hole? Hang in there, buddy. We're gonna get you to a vet. If you don't make it in time, I know a good furrier. Why are you here? That's our scoutmaster. She was teaching us how to throw a hatchet. I got bit by a ferret. Cool. Hey, guys, this old lady got bit by a ferret. Oh, no. Some gift shop. Oh, they got his chips. Oh. You know what? I met the man on the other side. You know there's a waiting room over there? No, we are in the waiting room to the waiting room. This man, he, um, he fell off a roof and he landed on a rake and he split his back open, you know? And he drove himself to the hospital. You know, can you imagine in a hot, sweaty car driving with your back split open on a seat, on a seat with no beads? My God! You see? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The poor young man, his, his back is split open. They keep him waiting for four hours. You, a, a menopausal woman with a tiny cut on your finger, how, how long are they going to see you? We're going to be here three days minimum. Three days! Get out. Just... Get out. Go. Go to the gift shop and get you some my dog. See? It's the fat lady. Awesome. I hear you get a 
wounded shots in the stomach with a huge needle. Do you think you're gonna die? I'm not pre-authorized for that. <laughs> Look, what the hell is going on here? Excuse me, excuse me. Do you think you could put down the papers, put down the birthday cake, and give us a little humanity here? I mean, come on. This is not some third world country where we're sitting around the field waiting for the UN doctors to come. And by the way, they would have been here by now, put some crocodile poop on my hand, sent me home, and made me pay them a chicken. <laughs> Rita, 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 Rita. Oh, what's that girl? Oh, 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 oh man, I can't seem to find it. I'm sorry, oh, well. Let me in. <laughs> I'll be copacetic. Trouble I see. Hello? Oh, hey, Courtney. How's everything at the hotel? Actually, I'm not at the hotel. I'm at the veterinarian. Oh, tell me you're getting ready to put that rat down. No, no, no. B Buddy's taken ill. Uh, his doctor wants to know if you... Wait, wait, hold up. Are you telling me to sock puppet down a doctor before I do? Yes, he's got white dolphin insurance. Platinum. Anyway, the doctor wants to know if you have any communicable diseases because Buddy's having a very strange reaction to the body. He bit me. Here's your Earl Grey. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, Mavis, just a second. Could I trouble you for a little biscotti? Plain or almond? Surprise me. Oh, this place is amazing. They really treat animals humanely. Well, look, uh, see if they can take me, because I'm a humane. <laughs> She's making a joke right now. <laughs> uh, Mavis, if you could do me a favor, please tell Rita... Rita who? That crabby broad left me here to die. Oh, my God, here comes Satan. Cell phones are not permitted in the hospital. They interfere with the equipment. I'll take that. They ran out of my door at the gift shop, so I got you a beef jerky and a Playboy. If you're here with me, and Courtney is at the vet, who the hell is running my hotel? Chatwiga. Please fill these out. Thank you very much. Please, could you fill this out? Thank you very much. Does anyone else need one? No? Uh, Chatwiga, what's, what's going on? Well, what does it look like? I'm running the hotel. Now, get up to 310 and then do your magic with the toilet. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. Mavis is grotesquely swollen. I do not know when she will return. Now, we must follow the chain of command. I know nothing of the chain of command. That's because you are a foreigner. <laughs> In America, there's always a chain of command. It goes hotel owner, handyman, owner's brother, owner's brother's girlfriend, random stranger, Housekeeper. Easy. I've seen your laundry. I know things. <laughs> this dude passed out in the bathroom. Step aside. We got a loss of consciousness. Just a minute. That's my gurney. I'm supposed to be next. Loss of consciousness goes to the front of the line. Well, I wish the hell you told me that an hour ago. I'd have had somebody bash me in the head. <laughs> Dizzy. Oh, I'm good. It's all getting black. Ah. Ah. I said loss of consciousness, not loss of dignity. <laughs> Dini, I'm taking a break. Shannon O'Leary. Shannon O'Leary. Oh, happy St. Patty's Day, it's me. Oh. Black Irish, Black Irish. Welcome to the Hotel Amont. May I help you? Yes, hello. May I help you? No, he cannot help you because he is only the handyman. <laughs> have you know, in Iran, I used to be an engineer. <laughs> I'll have you know, my husband and I were the Balkans' largest purveyor of sausage-like food products. Sausage-like? 
You are filth. <laughs> Please, uh, let me sign you in. No, please, let me take you to your room. I will turn down your covers. I'll fluff and puff your pillows. I will do anything to make your stay more pleasurable. Anything. <laughs> what did I say? All right, Miss O'Leary. This will just take a minute. Look, when's the doctor coming in? I'll start the procedure. The doctor will be here later. Well, I just think I should tell you I'm really here about my hand. Look, everyone gets nervous before this type of procedure. If I were you, I'd just lay down and try to relax. You keep saying procedure. What, what procedure are you talking about? Your colonoscopy. Oh, hell no, you're not touching me with that. Yeah. What are you doing in here? You got to help me, girl. This man's trying to do something to me. He's trying to give me a colonoscopy. Well, go on and have it. You covered. You've got the gold card, Miss O'Leary. <laughs> Why don't you give her the special? We call it the pinwheel. Rita, Rita, come here, girl. They're trying to do something bad to me. And I should care because why? Huh? Why should I care? Because you're my family. You know. I'm sorry about everything I said about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. To my brother, Courtney. Uh -huh. To your dad. <laughs> okay, girl, stop it. Would you put her on an R9, Evelyn? All right. I'll go get the doctor. Wait, how did I get you? <laughs> Are you telling me that all I had to say was R9 eight hours ago and I could have seen a doctor? You didn't know what an R9 was. You still don't. <laughs> Only we know about our nines. How much slack can you give me? Oh, Miss Evelyn, could you bend over? So you really owned a factory with 200 workers? Yes. And we'd still be in business if it wasn't for the European Union and their stupid health codes. And now you clean toilets. And you fix them. <laughs> a man who sent the first Iranian to the moon. Well, you know, when I said the moon, I meant Pakistan. <laughs> and when I said Iranian, I meant armed warhead. Still, we deserve better. What did Mavis Ray do to own this hotel? Simply sing a silly song. Yes. If only I were lucky enough to be born a black woman in America. Stop! Oh, yeah, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Look, I, I just wanted to say something you're never, ever going to hear me say again. Oh, girlfriend, come on and say it. You know, we friends now. Hell, we practically family. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, uh, I really appreciate everything you did. I, I can't thank you enough. Oh, May Ray. Oh, girl, 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 my arm. <laughs> Courtney is going to be so happy. Yeah. You see, I knew we was going to be tight. Now we having us some girl time. Now, let's see. I'm going to introduce you to my crew. I'm going to take you shopping. I'm going to do your makeup. You know what? Let's talk about that later on. <laughs> but I got to tell you. What? I mean, straight up, I love your brother. No, really, I love your brother. And at night, <laughs> when we turn the lights down real low, and we start laughing, we put on some music, girl, we start getting busy. Oh, look, and it... look, girl time's over. I got to go, girl. <laughs> Supposed to take these pills with food. <laughs> and you're not supposed to drink alcohol. Ah. Now, isn't it interesting? Neither are you and Jadwiga, and yet there's a whole bottle of cognac missing. Besalamati. Besalamati. Hey, girlfriend, what's up? Hey. Me and my 
crew was going out for a drink, and I told them I know the spot. Mavis Ray will hook us up, because she's my girl. What are you having? Uh, I'll have a Cavassier and Coke. They'll have Cosmos. Give me a Jack and Ginger. <laughs> I don't know if you pre-authorized for that. The, the gold card. Okay, girl, you got it. Come on, girl. This is not my pet. This is my animal. Animal. Okay? Smelling salts. Mercurochrom. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? This is not what are you doing here? Well, tell a man. I don't want him to call him out. Don't you leave him to live with that. I'm going to go to the game. 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 I'm going to go to the game.